as it stands right now, the petition stands open for supplementation insofar as the final supplementation package will be delivered to His Excellency Max Richard and he retains. So the ridiculous arguments on the part of the government that there were no signatures accompanying the yeah. petition is simply totally untrue. Uh, there is an attempt to disaggregate um, facts and it just isn't correct. Um, I can't speak with citizens right now as to how many responses we've had. I know we have had responses. Um, I have to check my facts. Um, so I'll defer that question for me. I'm sure I can do that within 15 minutes afterwards. So well, I'm sure that you would have heard from the Minister of National Security in his public utterings on a platform yesterday. <laughs> can't say the platform that they walk about this in the company of the Attorney General that there will get threats made against Dr. Um, that's the manner in which I heard the public becoming in the place. I'm alarmed and startled and deeply concerned that the Minister of National Security should con continue to delve into information which I don't think he is properly entitled to delve into. Number one, Dr. Rowley certainly, certainly has not made public the fact that death threats have been made against him. Number two, the Minister of National Security is not the police in Trinidad and Tobago, and I have no idea why he purports to have jurisdiction to speak to that. And number three, I can't understand what his motives could possibly be to inform the national community of such an event. I mean, it isn't as if Dr. Rowley called a state of emergency, alleged that there were assassination attempts, and then called the whole army out to guard one single 